Hi everyone, so today I want to review, uh, go back and go over the classwork from April 8th, um, which is a Wednesday. So first thing I want you guys to do for this is to watch this YouTube video, I'll give you a little bit of context. And today the, really the focus is putting the Pythagorean theorem into, I guess, real world problems. So first I just have a few problems just to practice using the Pythagorean theorem. Um, if you're having trouble with these, I would recommend just going back to the video I made uh, for Monday's work, where I just kind of plug and chug one of these. Um, remember, you just got to label your sides and then you're solving. Um, what I want to do is go over one of these word problems. Um, I'm going to do this part B right here. And I'm just going to show you how to do this. I think for any sort of word problem, um, there are a few steps that I, I think are important. Okay, cool. So first off, what you want to do is you want to draw a picture. And that'll be different with my mouse, but I'll try. And then the second step is um, you draw like more of a mathematical picture. And that's the way I like to put it. So draw a mathematical picture. So in the context of the Pythagorean theorem, I'll just I'll draw a math picture. In the context of the Pythagorean theorem, um, you know that only applies to right triangle. So for the first step two, I just mean draw your right triangle. So for this, this first one is just draw a picture. The second one is draw a math picture, and then you actually, you know, solve. So I hope that helps us like a framework for working these problems. Um, but let's actually dig into this. So how far from the base of the house do you need to place a 15 foot ladder so that it exactly reaches uh, the top of a 12 foot tall wall? Okay, so for this, I'm gonna draw my picture. We know we've got a house. Cool, that's my house. And we got a ladder leaning on it, and it has to reach the top of a 12 foot tall wall. So let's say this is our 12 foot wall right here. And our ladder, so I'm gonna label that as 12. And that, that specifically, it's this much that's 12 feet tall. And then we got a ladder leaning on it. And this will be hard, but I'm trying. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Cool. Let me just draw the ground here. All right, so there's our there's our picture. So now let's think about this. Where's our where's our right angle? Where's our right triangle in this thing? And if you look at this, our right angle would be right here, and I guess that our triangle would be. Uh, this guy right here. And it says it's a 15 foot ladder. So let's uh, label this as, um, let's label that as 15. So that's our little picture right here. Um, I think it'll help us get our triangle. Now we have our triangle. Um, let's see, I'll put that over here. We got a triangle now. A little too steep. Uh, our triangle will look more like. And I'm having a tough time drawing it for some reason. All right. Okay. That's our triangle. Uh, here's our right angle. We know that this is the ladder, that's the 15. And that the house, there's the wall and the house was 12 feet tall. So let's remember, Pythagorean theorem is uh, a squared plus b squared plus c squared. Wait, no, 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 that's not right. a squared plus b squared equals c squared, right? I'm turning off my brain.
Okay, so that means we gotta label our sides. So let's see. So remember, across on the right angle is always the hypotenuse, which is always C. So this is C, and it doesn't really matter what we call A or B. So I'm gonna call this A, this B. So B is our unknown here, as we're trying to figure out. That's basically, uh, you know, um, how far from the base of the house you need to place the ladder. So that's like what we're looking at down here. All right, so let's see, we got a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So our a squared is 12 squared plus our b squared is, uh, well, we don't know what b is, so I'm just gonna put b squared equals c squared 15 squared. So, um, if you don't know what 15 squared is, well, firstly, 12 squared is 12 times 12, that's 144. Plus b squared. And what is 15 squared? So let's pull out our calculator. What is 15 times 15? All right, we got 225. Uh, all right, there it is. Two twenty-five. Okay, so we're trying to get b squared by itself. That means we got to subtract one forty-four from both sides. Um, so let's uh, grab a new color there. So minus one forty-four from both sides, minus 144. Here, this cancels, right? Now 225, five minus four is one. Uh, we gotta borrow here. So this is a one, this is a 12. 12 minus four is eight. So that's our answer, we got b squared equals 81. Okay, so we're trying to figure out what B is. I'm gonna copy this down over here so I got a little bit more room. So let's just uh, take this over there. All right, so we got B squared equals 81. How do we solve that equation? Um, remember to undo a square, what we gotta do is we gotta take the square root of both sides. So I square root this side and I square root this side. So the square root of b squared uh, will just be b, because they kind of cancel each other out. And then the square root of 81, um, what times what gives you 81? Uh, that would be nine. Whoops, nine. Okay. Uh, and if you want to do that on your calculator, um, you gotta take your phone, you gotta flip it sideways. So when you flip it sideways, you should see something that looks a little bit like this. Um, and it's gonna be a button like here, and there should be like a little two square root x. So it'll look kinda like this. Um, so we put an 81, then we hit that button, and you get nine. So b equals nine, and that's nine, because we're dealing with 12 foot wall, 15 foot ladder, that's nine feet. The word problem, they might give you units, it's likely they will, so you gotta include the unit in your answer. It's nine feet from the wall, not nine inches or anything like that. So that's your answer. Uh, and if you want to answer it out in words, you can say nine feet from the wall.